Hey everyone, welcome to Top Down Tech, where we talk about tech from the top to the bottom. Today we're going to be talking about the Dimensity 1100 chipset. And you heard that right, we're not going to be doing a full review at any device, but if you want to check out my full review of the Poco X3 GT, you can check out the link right up there. But again, as I mentioned, we're going to take a deep dive into the Dimensity 1100 chipset, and I'm going to be telling you why it's exactly a great performance chipset for the Poco X3 GT in terms of its gaming performance, overall performance, and everything else in between. Now before we totally dive in, let's quickly talk about the Dimensity series. So the Dimensity series is the new series from MediaTek that aims to deliver premium performance and 5G for everyone. And we've seen it before from the Poco M3 Pro, which gave everyone an affordable 5G phone. However, the Dimensity 1100 is an even better chipset than what we saw from the Poco M3 Pro. Now this time around, not only do we get 5G, but also top-notch performance that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with other flagship chipsets. So on a technical level, the 1100 is an octa-core chipset with four super cores that are ARM Cortex-A78 that runs at 2.6 GHz. It also has a Mali G77 MC9 GPU. Now I understand that most of you watching this video don't really care too much about the technical stuff, but let me just quickly highlight that this now falls under the 6 nanometer fabrication. Now what that means to you as a consumer is that not only does it bring more performance, but it also gives you better power efficiency. Because usually what you can expect is that when you have more performance, it usually equates to more power drain. However, as I pointed out, you can expect to save more power with the Dimensity 1100 chipset even with its beastly performance. That means your social media apps will run super smooth as they won't even make the Dimensity 1100 sweat. Viewing high resolution photos and watching 4K 30 frames per second videos that you took will be super simple task for this powerful chipset. But let's get to the actual meat of this video. Allow me to show you how good this runs some of your favorite graphically demanding games. So let's start with Genshin Impact. As far as I know, this is still one of the most resource hungry games out there right now. But I was truly surprised when I saw how smoothly this could run at the highest graphical settings, even with 60 frames per second option turned on. It was consistently running at around 40 to 50 plus frames per second and it's pretty much the same performance with other flagship phones that I've tried before. That's an amazing feat for a newcomer like the Dimensity 1100. Call of Duty Mobile also ran perfectly with its graphics maxed out and I never felt any hiccups whether I was playing in standard multiplayer mode or in battle royale mode. If you're planning on playing competitively on PUBG Mobile, the Dimensity 1100 chipset will be able to handle extreme smooth settings at 60 frames per second. The gameplay experience I had was flawless and I could see myself playing for several rounds on PUBG if I had the time. And as you'd expect, the Dimensity 1100 handled Mobile Legends like it was a walk in the park. Even at ultra graphics and with heavy clashes going on, your Poco X3 GT will still run like a dream because of its immensely powerful chipset. The Dimensity 1100 chipset does heat up quite a bit, but never to the point where I had to really worry about its temperature like with the Snapdragon 888. Besides, the liquid cool 2.0 ensures that there's a combination of a vapor chamber, graphite sheets, and thermal gels that ensure that the Poco X3 GT has flagship level liquid cooling that helps prevent any thermal throttling. Now, aside from its beastly performance, the Dimensity 1100 chipset gives you upgrades to your connection options. You now have dual 5G and Wi-Fi 6, guaranteeing that you get the most advanced connection on your Poco X3 GT. And to further boost the performance, the Poco X3 GT now has a lightning fast UFS 3.1, ensuring that you get seamless HD streaming experience, blazing fast performance, and 40% less power consumption as compared to the UFS 2.1. All right, so with the prices that you can see on your display right now, 
The POCO X3 GT equipped with the MediaTek Dimensity 1100 provides you with tremendous value in terms of performance. But what's truly amazing here is the fact that we now get flagship performance in the price of a mid-range device. Now with that said, this is such a wonderful technological leap as well as a great development for consumers who want to experience flagship level of performance without having to shell out flagship level amounts of money. And I want to see more advancements like this where we can get more performance at a cheaper price. And for those who can't seem to get over MediaTek's past chipsets, I know they did have some bad raps in terms of being too hot. I think it's about time that you guys moved on and finally gave a chance to the Dimensity series and see it for what it truly is. A promising and powerful chipset that doesn't cost as much as other flagship chipsets out there. Now, for those who want to learn more about Pocophones, I'll put all of their social media accounts right there, and you can check out the links in the description box as well. And if you want to get your hands on your own Poco X3 GT, all of the links will also be in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.